Okay, so um, we now solve the MCQ number 15 and uh, which of the following property is not satisfied by the two functions? So you are given the function f of x equal to r tan of 1 over x. Let me clean the bar. Okay, so we have the function f of x that is uh, r tan of uh, 1 over x. And the function uh, g of x that is actually min minus r tan x. Okay, nice. Uh, now you have some, let's say that you have some properties, and uh, okay, <clears throat> okay, listen to me before we start. I want to say something that this property is always hold so when you have the when you do the tan of one over a quantity let me write it better <coughs> uh, when you do tan of one of any quantity it will give you pi over two minus r tan of the same quantity if the quantity is greater than z okay yes but minus pi over two minus r tan of the quantity if the quantity is more than zero okay now going back it means that if i do the same thing what does it mean it means for example that if my quantity is x r tan of one over x will be pi over two minus r tan of x Yes or not? If x is greater than than zero, but minus pi over two minus r tan of x, if x is smaller than zero, right? For example, if I do r tan of one over one, it means that my quantity is one, right? Which formula should I use? The first or the second? <laughs> okay. So we should use the second, uh, the first formula, because one is greater than, than z, because one is greater than zero. So r tan of one is actually pi over two minus r tan of one. So we, okay. So if you want r tan of one, is pi over two minus r tan of one. If you if you can check this because I repeat I, I remind you that r tan of one is not is pi over four. Okay, that is equal. To, this is also pi over four. You can check hmm, for your. Uh, this is r tan of one is pi over four. So in fact, it holds because you get that pi over four is pi over two minus pi over four. Okay. So, uh, turning, why, why did I, I gave you these formulas because now they are going to be very important to solve the exercise. Mm. I don't know why they put these questions in the question, but. Uh, so, uh, A is correct because you, you say that what is, what A is just saying that, what is F of X, that R tan of one over quantity is equal to pi over two, minus r tan of the one yes or not a is just saying this a is saying that the r tan of one over quantity is equal to pi over two minus r tan of the quantity when the quantity is greater than z is that clear but we are looking for the word not satisfied and also c is correct because c is just a when x is one but the, the one enter in the case when x is greater than z, than z. 
also d is correct yes or not because we said that the formula changed to this when x is smaller than z right now the two function have the same domain and um, the two function has not the same domain excuse me in fact yes they has not the same domain because we remind you that f over x was r tan of 1 over x right and uh, g over x is r tan of x minus r tan of x the domain of f is r except 0 right cannot do it whereas the domain of g is all r we can do r tan of anything okay so they have different domain so also b is correct so the one that is false is e okay it is e because they are saying that the mm, the r tan of the one over the quantity is always is always equal to pi over 2 minus the r tan of the quantity but it's not always like this we saw that there is a different case for x greater than zero and a different case for x smaller than but they are saying that it's always for all x okay so this make uh, the stop force okay nice we move now to next question okay let's clean the broad okay next question is the question 16 so what are we talking about now we are going to talk about the integ uh, the integration of Russian uh, of uh, the so-called um, you know I think it's in English should also be rational functions mm? rational rational uh, what uh, what what do we mean by rational functions is typically that your function f of x is a polynomial p1 of x divided by another another polynomial p2 of p2 of x that is what okay so we want to integrate some p1 of x over p2 of x in dx okay now uh, keep in mind that so far we learn how if we have something like the integral of 1 over x minus 2 we know that it will be the logarithm of absolute value of x minus 2 yes or not we also see how to integrate 1 over x for example minus 3 all square we see the trick yes or not that probabilities will give a minus 1 over x minus 3 if you if you if you remember the if you have a, a look to the first uh, uh, lectures uh, to the first uh, video we recorded before then you this you will you will be able to to to, to do all this stuff by yourself so when when this stuff when the when we have uh, stuff that are simple we are able to solve them the easily but what if i can if i start doing stuff like uh, uh, like this what are the steps to follow what, what are the steps to follow in order to solve something like this one in fact this is what we this is the question we want to try to answer here okay so by trying to so these are called this uh, these are called rational integrals okay rational because the the, the the function we are integrating is rational okay nice uh so what are the steps to follow when one half a rational integral so the steps are that given a rational integral is given by the integral of p1 of x over p2 of x where let's say p1 is a polynomial and p2 is another polynomial now i will ref this is the numerator so p1 is the numerator and p2 is the denominator right 
so uh, prob probably the good thing to do is uh, uh, first maybe to uh, to stop uh, probably here and do uh, <coughs> a, a small uh, let's say that and record a small lecture a very a very short video about how to solve this kind of in integrals okay alone